I'm Noel Akram. I'm 23 years old. I'm born and brought up in Doha. I'm Qatar's first female disability rights uh, activist, and I'm a comedian. My work for disability rights and media representation for people with disabilities was recognized by BBC Worldwide, naming me one of the 100 most influential women in the world, 2017. Muscovy dystrophy Duchenne was discovered by Gulen Amand Duchenne in the 1860s, but due to lack of medical knowledge, it was later on discovered around 1986 particularly, where Muscovy dystrophy Association confirmed with the current knowledge. Muscovy dystrophy is a severe muscle wasting condition. The sign starts at a very young age, so it should start with walking, essentially needing wheelchair around 10 to 12 years old. And later on in life, they might need assist uh, ventilation to help breathing and the muscle wasting condition usually affects the heart and lungs and the overall muscles in the body. So there are different types of muscular dystrophies. Shane is the most severe one. Muscular dystrophy, and Duchenne particularly, is very common in males, but it is very rare in females. So one in 50 million women can be diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Now, muscular dystrophy itself is a genetic condition, but it can happen to anyone. Anyone can be born with it. My parents noticed the changes in the way I walked. When I was four years old, I had a biopsy done. And through that biopsy, they discovered that I have Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Now, I'm the first one in my family to have this condition. So it was a learning journey for my parents. And for me, as none of my siblings had a disability. So it was me adjusting to doing activities, to going to school, to trying different things, even around friends. And we had to find a way that adapt that works for everyone. So it was a learning journey for my parents, myself, and everyone around me on the way that we can coexist, do activities together. One of the big things is that all over the world, there is a lack of awareness on the condition and how severe it is. And one of the things that I would love to see the community and the global medical community do is more research in the country, and in the globe to see how can we find, if not a cure, but at least a treatment that helps lessen the severe uh, symptoms of this condition and the effects that it does to the individual. It would be amazing to see more researches, more funding towards it, more charity events that help fund researches and even getting the necessary medical equipment that people with this condition need. It is unfortunate that people with this condition sometimes don't have the necessary equipment that they need to help survive and go and do everyday things to be an active contributing member to the community. Having access to the National Museum has been able to help me connect with my country of birth, Qatar, help me able to learn about more of the culture, heritage, and be able to connect with the past. Now, art is a right for everyone to access, and having able to access the museum in an accessible manner and navigate it from the museum exhibitions to the cafe to the overall through an accessible card has been able to help me have a wonderful experience that I feel every person with a disability should be able to experience art and museums all over the world in an accessible manner for them to connect with culture and heritage of the global community. Art has been a medium throughout century to express, raise awareness, whether it's social or political, and making it accessible to people with disabilities helps us build an inclusive world. As an activist that is involved in the community, I have seen that it is also the vision 
of Qatar 2030 to make sure Qatar is accessible to all people with disabilities to study, to visit, to live. So it has been a part of the country's growth to make sure that people with disabilities are able to access everywhere in society and are involved in every part.